Well, we want to check in again with Brent Weisberg. He's been out on I-5, actually uh, seeing a lot of those truckers who were stuck overnight and other drivers as well. What's the latest situation, Brent? Jenny, Ken, Dan, good morning to all of you. I can tell you right now we've still got uh, the semi truck that's way there in the distance. It's actually backing up on the ramp from northbound I-5. You can see the driver now just getting out of his cab here. He was trying to make it up. I can't see if he has any chains. It doesn't look like it from our vantage point out here, but he was side to side with this other semi truck here, and it's basically a very, very narrow path, and passenger vehicles and SUVs, they can get by just fine so long as they have their momentum and whatnot, but you can still see how uh, shiny it is here, how icy it is on this ramp. Well, that semi came up side to side and he looked like he was trying to make it. We kind of heard that sound that the tires kind of that and then he just backed up here. Uh, so this has been a huge problem spot for Oregon Department of Transportation and Oregon State Police. They have been watching this situation here on this ramp and the freeway itself. We swing the camera around here and you can take a look right now at I-5. This is northbound traffic, which uh, is closest to us. And then uh, that hillside right over there, that is the southbound lanes of traffic. Now, much improved within the last 90 minutes. That's when uh, Oregon Department of Transportation kind of wrapped up all of their de-icing efforts, laying down gravel and plowing we can see it is almost night and day now we can actually see part of the blacktop and the snow that was there is slowly melting uh but for a while this morning right around the eight o'clock hour here you can see these cars now starting to make their way here up the ramp from northbound i-5 to barber boulevard this person doing it exactly as they're supposed to they have chains uh and you can see this suv here uh as it makes its way up here doesn't look to have any chains on there but we don't know exactly uh, where they're coming from. Uh, we heard from one of the troopers with OSP saying you have to have your chains on your car if you're going to be on any of the interstates here. And you can see right here, the semi now looks like he's gotten some momentum. Looks like he's going to be trying to get up here. We'll see what he does here. But uh, again, to reiterate here, uh, Oregon State Police saying you have to have chains on your vehicle if you are going to be traveling on any of the interstates and now the semi truck he had that momentum looks like he lost it and um, there he stops so now officially i can tell you that the ramp from northbound i-5 to barber is now blocked uh it looks like he's going to be backing up here a little bit uh, this has uh, kind of developed here just within the last couple of minutes. We have seen uh, several drivers coming back to uh, their cars here, walking down the ramp, getting back to their cars uh, that were abandoned. In fact, one gentleman that we talked to uh, this morning, his car was parked right here. You can see where it was, uh, kind of the bare pavement. That's where his car, that's exactly where his exhaust was running for 16 hours uh you know he was just a just a true champ to be out here that long he was driving northbound i-5 and conditions quickly deteriorated last night into early this morning and he said that he decided to pull off but then the ramp was blocked by another semi uh just north of us here before barber and so then he uh had to pull over uh he lost traction his uh suv didn't have four-wheel drive didn't have the right tires on so he was stuck here uh, so then he had to wait it out, wait for the stores to open up. And, you know, there's a hotel that is just north of Barber Boulevard here in southwest Portland. And they were completely booked up yesterday. Uh, and we actually had a chance to talk with them saying uh, I was sending them an email because I couldn't get them on their phone. And they said that uh, right around uh, 7 o'clock is when people on I-5 we're just calling them, asking for a room. This person right here going by has their chains on. You can probably hear it. Uh, but that hotel was saying that um, they completely filled up just because of the conditions out here. Uh, so just again to reiterate, uh, I-5 
here at Barber Boulevard. Uh, it is uh, much improved from what we saw earlier this morning uh, when there were just dozens of cars that were stranded along the side of the road here. It was a real mess. We were actually down on the highway. The Oregon Department of Transportation, they gave us uh, some access to the highway with their uh, incident response teams. Those are those uh, pickups that you see. It has the flashy lights that usually help you on a normal day when your car has like a dead battery, a flat tire on the side of the roads. Those folks were running around the clock, uh, running around the metro, really trying to help as many people as possible. There's one lady who uh, slid off the side of the road and the uh, incident responder was trying to help push her, but she was so far wedged into the, the wet, heavy snow out here that she ultimately needed a, a tow. But we were down on the highway and it was just really remarkable to see so many cars just abandoned at night in the middle of the uh, snowstorm here and people were just sitting in their cars uh, waiting for some relief for some help and finally when they were able to get those uh, 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 plows and the de-icer out onto the roadway they were able to finally get those uh, cars free but still there are some abandoned cars along I-5 here this morning and uh, you know it is uh, as you've heard some of the Oregon State Troopers say if you are going to be heading out to get your car just be aware the conditions still are pretty dicey out there. Ken, Jenny, Dan, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Okay, thank you Brent and uh, thank